Hello everyone, welcome to Grade Up. I am Shantanu Sanwal, and today I am here for the prelims paper one analysis of the Engineering Services 2019 examination. The examination conducted yesterday by UPSC. So let us see what the UPSC has asked this year. Okay. Though this paper has been uh, really unpredictable for the last two years and the same thing happened this year also, there was much variation compared to the last two years in the number of questions asked from particular topic. The overall analysis of this paper says that this paper was difficult, okay, it was not that easy, again it was difficult and uh, according to the expert, the analysis what we have done. The analysis, according to the analysis, the experts analysis, what we have done, uh, something, a score of 75 to 85 or 90 can be considered a really good attempt or really good score for this paper. Okay. So let us see the, these are the 10 topics. These are the slavers. I do not think that there is any need to repeat those 10 topics, the topics or the slavers, which the UPSC has provided. Okay. These are the 10 topics that you already know. And now we will see the weightage analysis of each and every topic that from which topic, how many questions have been asked. Okay. So the current affairs last year, this was the number of questions was somewhat more from this topic. This year, the question have number of questions have decreased to only four to five questions have been asked from this current issues. Okay. This is just the weightage analysis, the particular topics from which the questions have been asked in each and every subject that I will be taking up later. Okay. Engineering aptitude again last year also it was around 10 to 12 questions this year it has been 14 questions maths have reduced to only four to five questions the general principles of design drawing and safety there were only five questions this year okay standards and quality practices there are only nine questions from this topic this year then from the basics of energy and environment the questions have increased to 13 questions okay and the basics of project management also there were 13 questions this year Basics of material science, 14 questions. ICT, there was 10 questions, okay? And those questions were, were basically of the conceptual understanding or the conceptual learning. Okay, this there, the questions were uh, more inclined to the static part, especially from this topic. And also, there is a considerable increase in the number of questions of the ethics and values, okay? Last year, the questions were less. This year, the questions have been, 14 questions have been asked from this topic and the questions have been included from some of the ethical theories. Okay. So this was really a challenging part for the students this year. Now let us see that from each and every topic, the subtopics, the 10 topics, which the UPSC has provided in their slivers. Now let us see that what are the questions that have been asked from each of these topics. Okay. So current issues, the topics this year, the questions have been asked from the fiscal policy, basically the meaning of fiscal policy, what does fiscal policy means and the capital receipts that what is the meaning of capital receipts. So if you have the basic understanding of what is the fiscal policies, what are the capital receipts, the revenue receipts and all. So this was really a easy question. Then there was the questions of the components of the Mudra bank. That was also a not that much tough question and the silent features of the gold monetization scheme. As I have told you in the earlier, when I was doing the analysis of the 2017 and 18, and I was talking about the important topics for 2019, at that point of time also, also I told you that some of the banking related issues could be asked. So the Mudra Bank is there. Okay. And the gold monetization scheme. I also told you that some of the schemes launched by the government that are also important. So there from there it comes the gold monetization scheme, the silent features, very basic question not that much tough if you are uh, <clears throat> if you know the basics uh, means if you are going through the current affairs the daily current affairs through any magazines or through newspapers then these kind of questions was really easy questions okay so then comes the engineering aptitude the uh, covering the logical reasoning and the analytical ability the questions were asked from the topics like the percentage compound interest probability some geometry questions directions profit loss mensuration speed time and distance leaving one or two questions that were just a bit tricky other questions was really really easy you could easily score uh, <coughs> means about 80 to 90 percent on this topic and this is only the most uh, scoring topic of all this paper because around 10 to 12 questions have been asked from this topic and if you are able to solve all of them or even 80 to 90 percent of them then you can easily score around in the range of 20 to 22 marks in this topic only okay then 
from the mathematics and the numerical analysis, the questions have been asked from partial differential equation, the complex analysis, the CR equation, the Cauchy Riemann equations, and finding out the residue of any function. Then simply one geometry question also came, and one of the questions came from eigenvalues also. So for this also, this part was also not that much tough. It was just an average. Okay, I will just keep on telling you the. <coughs> okay, I will just keep on telling you the level of. What are the level of all these? topics okay so for others also let me tell you this was basically a easy topic okay this was a easy one then for the uh, aptitude this was also a easy one i will consider it easy because i can i say that 80 to 90 percent questions you can easily attempt then this was an average topic okay because of this uh, residue theorem if you do not know for the <coughs> some branches they may feel tough for which the complex analysis part is not there okay otherwise this was also an easy topic only then from the general principles of design drawing and importance of safety the topics which were covered from the drawing only two questions were there one was the conic sections and another one was the one of the command that is used in the autocad okay and from the safety there was questions like the mobile crane the step ladders and the mewp these are some of the questions so for this also i will consider this topic as an average one okay these two were really easy if you know the commands and the conic sections and for the safety the mobile cranes the step ladders and the MEWP that that can be considered as an average so overall this part becomes an average for the examination then the standards and quality practices too many questions have been asked the topics covered were from the quality standards the quality control the TQM the prevention cost the break even analysis okay this was also an average I can give it an average okay this was an average part some of the questions like the break even analysis the questions was a good question it was a tough question I could say then from the prevention cost that question was also a uh, not that easy okay the then the basics the tqm the quality control and the quality standard they were some of the kind of questions which were the multiple statement questions okay then the multiple statement question itself becomes a somewhat tough so i can give it to average average to tough okay not only average but average to tough for this section then comes the energy and environment lot many questions have been asked 13 questions have been asked from this topic this year and the questions that is pollution related questions like the acid rain okay the acid rain the minamata convention relate, related to which pollutant okay that is related to the methyl mercury that is very basic question okay ecology the type of ecosystems have been asked the terrestrial ecosystem the out of the four given options you need to find out the which one was, was the terrestrial ecosystem then the renewable energy questions like solar energy the merits and demerits of the solar energy then the questions of biomass and there was one question related to the biogas the numerical of biogas was there okay that was a bit tough and there were two questions of ei eia that is the environment impact assessment okay they were not that much easy so i would again consider this topic to average to tough if somebody of you know about the minamata convention related to methyl mercury that was easy terrestrial ecosystem that was easy acid rain the pollutions like the nox and the socks what they form like the nitric acid and the sulfuric acid so what are the nature of them whether they are strong acid or weak acid then this question was really easy then the merits and demerits of the solar energy there was again a multiple statement question which again it became somewhat tough okay then the biomass the merits and demerits of biomass the biogas numerical was also not that easy if you say and the uh, <coughs> environment impact assessment again the questions became a bit tough for the aspirants next see the basics of project management again the 14 questions have been asked the project life cycle the phases of the project <coughs> in a project duration the estimates the, there were some kinds of estimates the schedules the damming system of profound knowledge there was one theory the greenfield and the cold privatization the financial management so this was basically the tough section which i could consider this was a tough section because of these topics the damming system of profound knowledge the cold field and the cold the greenfield and the cold privatization the financial management others were the simply the basics or the static portion that were covered in this topic of project management okay next comes out the basics of material science and engineering there was nothing new in this asked okay the metal solubility was asked then the phase diagrams polymers uh, ceramics i told you 
I told you while doing was the earlier video, the analysis of the 17, 18 and giving you the important topics for 2019. I already said at that point of time also like the topics like the polymers, the ceramics, they are very important. Okay. The question from properties and testing of materials was also there. Two questions. One was property front, one was testing. That was an easy question. Crystallography, too many questions have been asked, finding out the linear density, finding out the atomic power factor and all. And then there was a question on economic ionic compounds. Ionic compounds, the question was asked about the stoichiometric, so, <coughs> stoichiometry, uh, the definition of stoichiometry was asked. Okay, so this was also the topic that was basically an average, okay, not that tough. Then the ICT, this was again the ICT, this year the questions have been asked focusing more on the static portion, okay, like the networking related topics like the BAM, that is bandwidth allocation mechanism, the layered architecture, the sum of the layered architecture, the question was not that easy, okay, encryption, that is the encryption that is used in the email security and audio visual object coding, that was also a tough question and about the high level programming languages, that what are the components of the high level programming language, so this portion also I would consider a bit tough for the aspirants, Okay, not that easy questions were asked from this compared to the last year. Then from the ethics and values in engineering profession, the questions asked were really, really required. You are really deep knowledge like the ethical philosophy, engineering ethics, the features of engineering ethics, business ethics, professional ethics, the whistleblowing, agency loyalty and ethical theories. Okay, so there were some of the questions that have been asked from the societal theory, the convergence theories and all. So the questions were asked for tough. Okay, and too many questions have been asked around 14 questions have been asked from ethics. So <clears throat> these were the questions that have been asked this year and also the questions level have been slightly higher than the previous year. Okay, so overall analysis of this paper, it says that this paper was a tough one. I would consider it a tough paper and as I told you, 75 to 90 marks would be a really, really good attempt for all the branches in this. Okay, so this was the analysis for the prelims paper one. The analysis, the subject wise analysis, we will be posting really shortly in front of you for all the subjects, the all the branches, the mechanical, civil, electrical and electronics that we will be posting up really shortly for you. Okay. And if you have any comments, any queries regarding this, uh, this video or this topic, what I have discussed right now, you can post that in the comment section. Okay. So thank you for listening. Take, take care. Goodbye.